If you don't prioritize financial education, don't think that just because your father gave birth to you, then automatically you will just be wise when it comes to handling money. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Even if you are husband and wife, hear me well. <laughs> wealth, <laughs> wealth is not sexually transmitted. If you don't have it, you don't have it. It's as simple as that. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? So you must, you must, because no matter the money they put into your hand, it will all be a waste. Even if they carry one million and give it to you now, it will all be a waste. Why? Because you lack financial education. And it now seems as though that the more we go to school, the more we are very ignorant. How many of you live with your grandparents? You see your grandmother, you have, you have money in this side, they have money in this wrapper, this side. Then inside the room, money is everywhere. How come they did not go to school, but they knew some very valuable things about money? And you, with all your education, as money enter into your pocket like this, where the money is all gone. Who really has education? Who is, who is the one that is more educated than more the two of you? You may call them illiterate, but you are the one that is very illiterate when it comes to finances. You have no education. You don't take it seriously. You don't read books about it. You don't, you don't, you just think that you just know how to do it and to work that way. No, it's not going to work that way. You have to take financial education seriously. The same way you will invest your time in learning a skill, whatever skill it is, whether it is um, how to sew, right? How to make hair, how to whatever it is, the skill that you have. The same way you will invest such amount of time. You have to give attention to financial education. 